Hey, it's uh, us again, Jose, Eric, Eric. Perez. Um, so we're going to be reviewing another beer. This is a. Uh, I really like. Yeah, you got to watch the other video for that one, okay? Um, this is the Lost Abbey Judgment Day Ale, okay? Now, um, it's supposed to be a really strong beer. And that's Once you show how you mostly the reason. See, it's got a this kind of like a you know wine, you know thing, um, which I like. I drink wine every now and then, and uh, it's cool. I like it. Just kind of push it with your thumb like this, spin it again, and just keep working your way. It's gonna pop out until it pops out. No, if you if you like you know shake it. You shake it, jerk it off, it'll pop out. But without it, it doesn't. See? There you go. Little poof. No big deal. Um, so the reason why we're doing this is because um The Lost Abbey, at least in my opinion, has always made really good, really strong and dark beers. And I really like that. Because that's my thing. I like strong dark beers. Okay. Um, and this one has uh, 10.5 alcohol volume, and we'll see what that looks like right here. Also bought at Stone. Also bought at Stone. They offered that lovely 10% discount because of my review. Yeah. That's dark. That's dark as fuck. You can't see my face on that shit. Look at that. Can't even see behind me. It's nice. I like that. <laughs> dark like my soul. There you go. Okay. Um. So, anyways. So it's um. I would imagine it's a really strong beer. I would imagine it's very robust. I would assume it has some sort of malty coffee flavor or something something like that okay so as you can see this shit's gone and that's two glasses pretty much holy shit you got more than me did i yeah just a bit just split that shit doesn't matter that's about right roughly i'm just saying look at all the head i got brew with raisins Brewed with raisins. Now, here's the thing. Eric does not like raisins. raisins. I don't know why. I love raisins. They're good. Almost everything. Oatmeal by themselves. They're good. Okay. So, let's uh, let's uh, check this out a bit. So, obviously, Lost Abbey, San Marcos, California. That's where it's brewed. Um, 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 um. It's a Belgian-style dark quaid ale. So, yeah. Um, we'll see how it is. It's pretty strong. The reason why I got this is because... Oh, it fucking smells like rice. <laughs> yeah, kind of. The reason why I got this is because I had the Avery Dictator series, the Kaiser really good I love that beer it's really awesome it, it tastes a little like raisins this is um, what the guy told me was last time with that was kind of on par with that so I was like hmm it piqued my interest so yeah I'm drinking a glass of black okay so let's see it's initially a bit fruity I get the the dark, smoky, malty sensation middle. End is clean. I feel the end is clean. It is. You get a little bit of uh, that, you know, breathy, smoky, malty aftertaste, but it's pretty subtle. I would say it's still clean. I like it. It's not bad. It's, it's pretty, pretty good. good. <laughs> I like it. I'm not a big uh, 
dark beer kind of person just because even if it's like a Guinness which isn't a high alcohol high alcohol dark beer and I don't even think it's very dark to be honest you still see kind of through it well you can see kind of through it but it's just not dark it's like a flash of darkness and then it just it's flat and it goes away but um I can't drink like a 12 pack of Guinness I could drink a 12 pack of pretty much anything else but like dark beers not really and I wouldn't consider Newcastle a dark beer it's like uh it's like a light dark beer it's like a beginner's dark beer it's not really dark I I would say Sam Adam Sam Adams is a darker, bitter beer than Newcastle. But I like the uh, the Guinness Stout. That's a good fucking beer. The Guinness Stout, I could fucking, I could drink it. Yeah, this is definitely not. I like the, I like dark dark beers. I like them heavy, Excuse me. robust. I like that shit where you can't see my face. You know. Where you can't see the fucking light. But the thing about that is that even though I like it, I don't think I would drink a six pack of it. Like as much as I like Sierra Nevada Bigfoot Barley Wine, I love that beer. But drinking a six pack would be too much. Too, just a little too much. Yeah. It's just, it's, it's a little, t- <laughs> it's kind of like eating, like, at least for me, I love chili cheese fries. And I'm, I wouldn't say I'm a, I'm a health nut, but I do watch what I eat. I do watch here, you know, all this stuff. But I don't think I could drink, or I could eat chili cheese fries, even though I love it every day. And even though I did do it when I was younger, when I was like 18, I ate it like three times a day for like a week. When I got my first job, I promised myself I would eat chili cheese fries three times a day for a week because I love that shit and I would never get tired of it. And I never did. And I did do that for a whole week, three times a day. And I didn't get tired of it, but fuck. It just was too much. You feel sluggish all the time. And this is kind of like what this feels. It's so heavy in alcohol that... You kind of feel a little sluggish. You feel like, hmm. No. It just, it's too heavy. I would say these dark beers, as far as this, is something that you kind of have to share. You know, with someone. At least one person. You know? I could drink a whole six pack of this, but I don't want to. You know, I'd rather share it with someone. I, I, it, you know, it's a very good beer. It is. I like it a lot. It's good. The carbonation in this, really light. There's very little carbonation. I actually like the temperature, too. It's kind of warm. Yeah, it's a little warm. It's not really bad, though. It's not, like, bad warm, you know? No, 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 no. It's it's a little smoky. Smoky, yes. Just a bit. If you look at the light, though, it's not really black. It's more like a dark red or brown. Or right here, it looks black. Look at my glass, though. Well, yeah, check this out. So... My coat is supposed to be black, okay? So you check, check it out. That's like a really dark shit brown. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which isn't bad, but it's... Um... And the funny thing is that a lot of the times, at least me, I like dark beers. I come across these hipsters that are like, oh, yeah, let's get a Guinness stout, Guinness drought or something like that. And it's like, yeah, just because it's dark doesn't mean it's fucking high in, you know, alcohol. alcohol content but that's the myth that it's high in alcohol content now granted this one is but not all of them are I could name you like at least five different beers that are super dark that are not you know high in alcohol content which means you could pretty much the Budweiser cool. has more alcohol than them if I drink a Guinness drought star or stout Budweiser has more. I don't know about the stout, but a regular Guinness. Yeah, I mean, a regular Guinness is like 4.4, 4.5, where a regular Budweiser is 5.5 or 5.0 or whatever. That's why usually when I go out, 
and I don't want to get like fucking shit faced or whatever because I don't trust anyone. Um, Guinness would be fine. I like dark beers. If everyone thinks, oh, you know, whatever the yeah. fuck, you know, but it's not the same. Um, I do like the way these come with corks. If you smell them, just like wine bottles, you can kind of taste, or not taste, but you can kind of guess the way it's, you know, it's going to taste, if you, if you might like it or not. Um, usually these kind of things, at least in my opinion, they're meant to be shared. They're not meant to be drank by themselves, even though I, technically I do drink them by myself. Um, but it's always good to share them. The reason why is just because, um, unless you already know what it tastes like, like, okay, put it this way. <laughs> now that I know what this tastes like, I'll drink it by myself because I could handle this shit. I could. Two glasses of this, not, no big deal. Okay. But if I don't know, it's always good to share it because sometimes you just don't know how something's gonna hit you. And you know, Saints. I'm a big believer of that. That's right. You don't know how something's gonna hit you. And until you try it. So, there you go. Oh, shit. Ah, so tell them about your Saints thing. What Saints thing? Yeah, you love the Saints. I do love the Saints. Saints all day. <laughs> I'm texting. <laughs> all sort day. Sort of, kind of. For all you naysayers, we had have Sean Payton, our leader, so, <clears throat> 2003, coming back, Drew Brees, who dat? I would love to party with some Saints fans, love, in LA, SoCal, that's like, that's almost like seeing a unicorn, kind of, <laughs> and, uh, you know, they do exist, but shit, it's few and far between. Unless they're like strict East Coast um, based teams, anything but the West Coast you don't see over here or Midwest. So it's usually like what? Chargers, 49ers, and Raiders? Cowboys, you kind of see some out here. Cowboys. There's Green Bay. Why someone like. I mean. Not because it's not a good team, but like where they're based out of, like who the fuck, you know? Green Bay, that's fucking weird. Bucks, I only know one. My supervisor is a Bucks fan. Is he? Yeah, I bet him ten bucks and I won. <clears throat> I might pretend to be a Bucks fan, but it's kind of like seeing like the Seahawks, which is Seattle. It's like you don't really see. Seattle fans. Not really. You see a lot of the major ones, which are fucking boring. 49ers, Cowboys, Oakland, Chargers. I know someone that's a forty, like a big 49ers fan. And the, the thing is that they know nothing about football. And that's my problem. My problem with um, certain girls is that they love a team because they grew up loving them. Not because they know their stats. Not because they know the intricacies of that team. They just love them because that's what they grew up on. You know? And that makes no sense to me. That's, a lot, well, that's they, a lot of people. Well, I know, but I mean, like, if your team fucking sucks, you know, why would you keep loving them? Like, um, But you don't want to be, like, a bandwagon fan either. You have, well, no, you have to... but I mean... I mean, once if you're undecided, you're undecided. But once you stick to a team, you have to stick to a team. Because if you're around like other football fa fanatics, you're gonna people are gonna touch the team. Be like, oh, weren't you a blah 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 fan this year? No, you're a blah 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 fan. Well, this it year. makes sense. But I mean, like me, I have no team. I just don't follow football. It's just not interesting to me. But if I had to choose. I would choose Bucks, and the the only reason why is because 
I was given a Bucks shirt and was mistaken for a Bucks fan. And it stayed with me. I mean, that, the guy was like, fucking Bucks fan, blah, blah, talking all kinds of shit. And I'm like, like, what is this guy talking about? Like, I, I had no idea. He's like, oh, you think you're all badass because you won yesterday? I'm like, like, and I, and I just walked in, said nothing. And this guy's telling me this, and I'm like, what is this dude talking about? So that stayed with me. So because I had a Bucks shirt on at the time, if I had to choose, I'd probably choose Bucks just because of that. But since I don't have to choose, I don't. But, you know, I mean, I don't know. If LA had a team, probably we would be the LA team. But LA probably. doesn't have a team. Yeah, yeah, probably. And even if they do get a team, which is rumored, you know, it'll be a secondary. Uh, it'll, it'll be a secondary favorite. My first will always and forever be the Saints. I saw a guy at um, Ikea with the Saints beanie on. He had the Saints thing. Mm -hmm. Not to the side, but right here in the front. Mm -hmm. It was funny because I was like, hey. You know, but then I was like, oh, I know nothing about Saints. So I can't really do the, hey. You know, because then he's going to be like, yeah, this dude or whatever. This whatever. And I'm going to be like question mark I don't know yes I don't know so yeah said nothing but I saw I saw I saw one it's pretty cool I, I mean I get it I get it but I'm not gonna put myself out there like that I like being alone Drew Brees Drew Brees Hopefully, you want to see if the skits take to it. Maybe. Maybe. At least one. I'm hoping Natalie. Oh. So, um. 1 through 10. Scale of 1 through 10. Uh, what do you give this? Scale 1 through 10. Dark beer. It was pretty bomb. I'll give it an 8. So. I'd give it an 8. 8? Okay. I'll buy um, it again. That's how I figure it. I'll buy it again. I would have The raisin to... taste wasn't as strong as like a dead guy ale, which is also raisin based. I don't know if it's raisin based, but that's the way I figure it. That taste. But dead, yeah. dead guy ale is very raisiny. But this is pretty good. And I like it. And I fucking hate raisins, but it's pretty good. I like it. That's that. Um, I would say. That I would give this. Let that taste it. Nate, Dad, come here. Ah, para ver esto. Aquí en la cámara. Aquí, para ese aquí. Trévelo. 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 Okay, trévelo. 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 No, no It's not strong. Como sabe? Como sabe? Un poquito little como like eh um, reasons como sour, como le amargo. Uh, sour. A little sour. A little sour. Bitter. Como una ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? ¿Está bueno o está mal? Está bien, pero el sabor It's al good, final but es el que, final es el que le, the, agarra, le agarra uno al sabor. But the uh, end taste kind of gets you, which is true. Um, okay. Um, si tienes que decir uh, que es uh, si uno, que dar un uno, si, si tienes que darle un número, uno a diez, diez siendo el mejor, y uno, y uno el Hola, peor. Uno diez. Bueno, One to me ten. gustó porque... Right, because Está suave al principio. It's soft in the beginning. Smooth. Se puede, you, se can, puede saborear. you can savor it. And, y no más al final está un poquito amargo. The pero end is, is bitter. bitter, but 
¿Qué, ¿Qué le das? ¿Qué número? ¿Qué número? Oh, eight. 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 You know what? Yeah, I would say that. I would say this is an eight, seven. It's not, it's not bad. I would buy it again. It's good. I like it. It's good. Buy it. I know I already did it a couple of times, but there you go. Lost Abby, Judgment Nail. Try it. <laughs> but, um, you'll like it. If you like dark beers, you'll probably like this. It's high in alcohol content. It's, it's good. I like it. I would rather drink a six pack of this than that other shit I fucking drank. There you go. Call from. Fried Yeah. Acuérdeme mañana, quiero cortar el...